this is a wonderful way to start your Thursday morning. That is the Niagara River. Welcome to Niagara the Umland Lake. And we're starting to look ahead to the summer. We're not there yet, but we're hoping to be open by the, the middle of the month and trying to uh, assist a few people in this town and around the region as they get ready to reopen. And today our focus is on a couple bed and breakfasts in Niagara the Lake. Our first stop, Somerset. Paul Greeley. Hello. Who is the manager here at Somerset? Welcome. Wow. Yeah, pretty impressive. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> that is impressive. The view is also impressive. Yeah. How unique is this to have that view? A bed and breakfast to have that view? Oh, very unique in town. Uh, uh, I believe we're the only one that has a view like this on the lake. Um, uh, the building's been here since 1989, and it was on the site of a building that was uh, selected to house royalty. So. It is a, it's a beautiful spot. Yeah, so when did it become a bed and breakfast? Uh, in 1989. Oh, it did? Okay, yeah, it was so it built, always has been. built to be that way, um, uh, to be a bed and breakfast and, uh, and to serve the community and uh, the tourists that come to town. So how many people can stay here at a time? Well, we've got three bedrooms, uh, three uh, guest rooms that all have uh, uh, two uh, queen-size beds in them. So uh, You do have space. Right? Yeah, lots there's of not space. A num there's not a number of spots in here. How has the, the industry been handling the past year and a bit? Well, I'd be lying if I said it was easy. We've been uh, struggling just like everybody else uh, in town. As far as the bed, bed and bre breakfast industry goes, uh, you know, it, it was non-existent. We weren't able to take guests on. So um, if you don't have guests, you don't have anything, yeah. right? So. And so where are we at right now? Well, we're looking at the 14th to take okay. guests, and we'll be uh, taking bookings any time, but no one can stay until after that date. What's, what's the summer normally like here at Somerset? Very busy. Very busy. When Shaw is open, uh, we have guests constantly, and uh, yeah. the rooms are full. Are you getting, you're getting Canadian guests? Are you getting American guests? Are you getting international guests? Yeah, a large part of our guests are American, and with the border closure, of course, that's hurting us as well. Um, and um, but a large portion of them, uh, I found this when we were able to open earlier this year, uh, we were getting a lot of Quebec guests. Oh, okay. That were coming sort of to replace that American market, but then we were shut down again. So why do you love this industry, bed and breakfast? Uh, I was in the hotel industry for 27 years in Niagara Falls, so uh, it's kind of in my blood. Mm. Yeah. But bed and breakfast is a little bit. It's more intimate. Oh, it? absolutely. Yeah, it's a different experience altogether. Yeah, for sure. Because you're really trying to make that at home experience. That's right. Yeah, uh, you make it very homey. Uh, everything you need is here. Um, you know, and and I feel like with COVID, uh, you're able to sort of isolate yourself more so than in a large hotel where you're in a large restaurant or you know you're in hallways or elevators with a lot of people. Yeah, and we just uh, I know Luke was just showing uh, Jody made that delicious breakfast that we just uh, showed off because <laughs> there's the bed, but there's also the breakfast yeah. aspect too. <laughs> Very important, just as important. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, great meeting you. Uh, here's to a, a good summer ahead. Well, thank you, Tim. Okay. We're, we're hoping uh, everything will pick back up again and we'll get back at yeah. it. Yeah, this is the this is the name for it. You wanna, let's go upstairs. Can we see a couple of the bedrooms? Absolutely. Let's do that. We'll yep. meet Jody who uh, prepared that wonderful breakfast for us. We'll return to Somerset B&B in Niagara and the Lake. A morning live. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to Somerset Bed and Breakfast in Niagara and the Lake. Check out this place. Oh my goodness. So we, we showed off a little bit of the downstairs in our first half hour. We're now upstairs in one of the three bedrooms. Happy to be joined by house manager Jody. Good morning, Jody. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. So do you actually live in the house? I actually live in the house. Pretty spoiled, hey? I'd say. Yeah. So what's it like living in the house with guests in the house? It's lots of fun. You get yeah? to meet a lot of great people. I get to share stories from my background and, yeah. and I get to learn stories from them as well. So is the role of, what's the role of a house manager? What do you have to do? Well, it's, it's, it's just like when you have guests over at your house. So you're responsible for everything, making sure that the experience is good, that the house is clean, that the breakfast and the food that they get is, is 
amazing. Um, so that's kind of... Well, we saw the breakfast downstairs, the spread that you put together, which is just out of this world. I think what sets Somerset apart, too, is this is one room. Correct. Right? This yes. is kind of the master bedroom. That's right. right. Or our honeymoon suite, honeymoon suite or our special occasion suite, whatever you want to call it. But yes. Do you cater to, I don't know, is there a certain type of clientele that you cater to? No, anyone that wants to join us can. We're, they're welcome to, to come and stay with us. Oh, and then you get the view. I was saying Niagara River earlier on. It is not the tip of the Niagara River, but then you're looking out into yeah. the Lake Ontario. That's right. So the honeymoon suite, do you get this whole upper floor? You get the whole upper floor. And I get to spoil you with whatever you'd like. Um, I like to, to do little special things. As you noticed, there was wine when you came into the room or bubbles, whichever you'd like. Um, and I try to find out as much as I can about our guests before they come so that I can spoil them when they get is here. Is there a set menu or you kind of, you do cater to them? I, I cater to them. Yeah. yeah if, they, if they have something that they wish, they can ask for it. Sky's the limits, you know, obviously I have some parameters, but uh, it's fun to, to play with food. That's, that's really what I love doing. Because so. what's, your, what's your background? So I'm a trained chef, okay. uh, but uh, my background is hospitality and uh, lots of other things. But uh, I, I love just being catering to people and being of, in service uh, to people. What's the spread that you put together? Oh, so that's our in-house charcuterie. And it's uh, cured meats and cheeses with homemade chutneys and uh, jams and pickles with, of course, a nice glass of red wine. Yeah, local. Uh Always local, local, yep. Local red. It's amazing. Okay. Um, we're not quite there yet. Okay. Like, are yeah. you just like, just so eager to get some people in here? Yeah. So exciting. Right. Uh, you know, there's only so much I can do before guests can come, but we are ready for them and uh, we're excited to meet everybody. I'm excited to meet everybody. And I get to explore the, the, uh, the area just the same as they do because I'm fairly new to the area. So I get to learn lots of fun things. Well, you're coming from the West. Yes, yeah, I so, did. So welcome to uh, welcome to the region. Welcome to Thank Niagara you. Lake. Thank and, you. And uh, you can come and uh, and meet Jody and uh, stay here at the Somerset when we're allowed to do so. Hopefully on the 14th. Cheers. Cheers. Isn't this just the best morning ever? Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome back to Niagara the Lake and our tour of a couple of the numerous amounts of bed and breakfast spots that are in this uh, lovely town. Welcome to Brockamore Manor. And I want to introduce you to Diki, who is the owner along with her husband. And we have somebody special with us this morning. Who is this Diki? This is Mabel. Hi Mabel. How are you sweetie? How old She's is Mabel? She's our littlest helper. She's 10 months. She's 10 months. Yeah. Okay. This is exciting because you're Hamiltonian. That's right. Okay. So yeah. how did you go from Hamilton to owning a bed and breakfast in Niagara Lake? Well, uh, I, after Hamilton, I moved to Toronto for several years, which is where I met my partner. Um, and then uh, we moved here because we were looking for something different. We wanted to start something for ourselves, raise a family. Um, when we found this location, it was kind of perfect. We thought, um, what a great place to raise children. And we really loved having our guests and, and the opportunity for her to meet so many different people from different places. Okay, let's get into the history. Brockamore Manor. Yeah. What's it date back to? So originally it was built in 1809. It was built by a man named Captain John Powell, and uh, his wife was Isabella Shaw. Her sister was Sophia Shaw, and Sophia Shaw's uh, fiance was actually Sir Isaac Brock, which is where the name Brockamore Manor comes from. It's that love connection between the two of them. So because he didn't have the money to marry her, uh, he, they had to keep their romance a secret, and so they would meet here and have their little rendezvous. Wow. Um, so now in 1809, after 1809, uh, the house burnt down with much of the rest of Niagara on the Lake in the War of 1812. And then it was rebuilt in 1818. So uh, it is said that part of Brockmore Manor actually survived the fires. So that would be in the billiards room, which you'll see when you go on inside. Uh, it's one of one, one to three structures, they're not sure, uh, that actually survived the, the fires in the war. So it's pretty, pretty cool that we've got a, a piece of 1809, but also 1818. Were, so you, still were you actively looking to get into this world, the bed and breakfast world? Like you, only, you must have a hospitality background. We definitely have hospitality backgrounds, both Alex and I. Um, we were looking to get into something sort of similar, uh, and then when this came around, it just made so much sense. What's it like to be living here and then having other people living in your space? 
it's actually, it's, it's very warm and comforting. <laughs> um, it's nice to have people in the house. Uh, we live kind of on one side, whereas the business is on the other. So it's a little bit more private for our guests, but they also know that we're always here if they need anything, um, which is great. It's a really nice feeling to be able to take care of people like that. And everybody's so uh, warm and, and grateful and, and just, they, you know, to, to be here for vacation. Everybody's obviously in really good spirits. Yeah. We've also had, you know, some engagements, weddings, that sort of thing, where you're really a part of people's momentous events. How much are you missing, the guests? A, a lot, <laughs> a bet. lot. Yeah, definitely. Because you're definitely missing the guests. It's also been nice to kind of spend this time with her, but right. we miss our guests. Okay, well, we're I bet you're eager to have them back. Um, aren't you the best little TV star <laughs> ever, Mabel? <laughs> well done. Take one. No problem. You got this. We'll take a break <laughs> and we'll come back for one more. And if we could, let's go inside and, and, and explore uh, Brockamore Manor and uh, get into the breakfast side of things, too. Sounds great. In turn, I'm Maureen Lyon. Good morning and welcome back to Niagara in the Lake and our B&B tour. There's so many wonderful ones in, in town and we've been, been highlighting two of them. This is Brock Armour Manor. So we showed you the outside, now we're kind of showing you the inside because this is actually one of the oldest buildings in town. And we have Diki, along with her partner Alex, who own it, and we have a special guest this morning, your 10-month-old Mabel. Good morning. Hi, Mabel. You are just the best <laughs> TV star ever. Can we just give a shout out to that dress too? Because that is wonderful. Thank Diki. you. Hold your horses vintage. <laughs> oh, amazing. In <laughs> Hamilton. Okay. Right. So in here, it is amazing and original. That's right. So um, original from 1818 and then uh, original from 1809. So um, when the house was first built and as I mentioned, um, burnt to the ground in the fires of the War of 1812, this part of the house survived. So if you look at the ceiling here, you've got the original crown molding from 1809 and then the rebuild was in 1818. 1818. And then so this is, would be the common area where people would come for the breakfast. That's okay. right. You prepared something for, you didn't need to be making me two breakfasts. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know um, Maybe you this, can guy, share. this guy behind the camera might want something, but uh, how has things changed when it comes to serving breakfast for you during these kind of COVID times? Yeah, so pre-COVID, we have these two tables here and we'd have all of our guests seated at the two tables and everybody would be conversing and talking about where they went, what they, where they went for dinner, what their plans are for the day, and it's really lovely. Um, Post-COVID or during COVID rather, what we've had to do is, is separate people. So we'll have no more than two or three uh, different rooms here. Um, as well as we've got several porches surrounding the, pat the building. So we've got one, two, and three in the front here where people can eat outside. It's a nice day. We've also got that one big table. So lots of options. Um, and then if people are really feeling anxious, they can always eat in their room. I've never done B&B, okay? Yeah. Just something that we've never done. That's I, totally fair. Any, any newbies out there that have never done it before, how do you compare that to, let's say, staying in a hotel or somewhere else? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there, there is such a, first of all, Niagara Lake is a real B&B town. There's, there's uh, over 300 B&Bs in Niagara Lake. Yep. Um, and the difference is really that you're getting that, that warm um, hospitality that, uh, that maybe you don't get at a hotel where it's a bit more pr uh, private. Um, you're meeting new people from all across the world. You're meeting your guests. You're meeting your families. Um, and uh, it's just, it's a really warm, nice feeling. Um, you've got, you get your home, home cooked meals, you know, instead of just kind of um, maybe that continental breakfast. Yeah. And then you have also the comfort of knowing that there's someone um, at the, you know, at the B&B there to help you with, any, with anything. So we like to make reservations for dinner for our guests. We partner with, um, with wine tour companies and, and that sort of thing to really make sure that it's kind of an all all encompassing experience and a lot of B&Bs will do that for you. Is Mabel the star of the show? Oh, she wants to go down. You're, are, you, are you crawling Mabel yet? Mabel started to crawl and oh she's... Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are the entertainer. She's unstoppable now. <laughs> well, it's going to be great as you, cause she's going to grow up here. Exactly. Right? Exactly. We love that. Amazing. Well, we'll leave it there. Uh, Brock Armour Manor. I guess we don't know. We'll keep an eye out. At some point this summer, we'll be able to be, and I know you're excited about that. Yeah. Open back up. Absolutely. And yep. uh, hopefully, hopefully the week of June 14th. 